We're here in Ioannina, it's in the northern Greece, and it's a very lovely and nice city. And uh, I have some IJ people here, and I was just meeting with them, and uh, I'm going to ask them about the actual situation in Greece, and what's their opinion about the Greek uh, situation in the content of the Europe situation. Okay, my first question, whoever wants to answer first. Um, how do you feel in Greece right now with the crisis? It's about nearly eight years since uh, it started. Um, what's the main problem? <laughs> okay, uh, well, I feel like it's not that... It's not only a financial crisis, it's, only a cr it's also a crisis of values, a crisis in all matters, in cultural section, uh, also in political field, everywhere. Um, yeah, probably depression, because a lot of things are not going the way we wanted to. Um, so yeah, not so good, but we're fighting, we're trying to be active as young generation. I feel that it is not stable, and so when I'm talking to my friend in Greece, and you see the statistic also, there's a highly unemployment rate at the youth. Um, how do you feel that? At your friends, maybe at your family? Um, I think it's hard that maybe you don't have the choice to work in Greece, but I, I hope that things will get better. So. Uh, we need to be hopeful, and there is also the, the chance to go to Europe, but as uh, uh, one said before, maybe we need it to be our choice, not to be forced. I, I don't feel that I'm forced, but some people do. They're scared, maybe. One of the main things which is always again in the news and in the discussion is the, the credit debt uh, which Greece has, and I think this is one of the necessary uh, discussions we have to make in the next years, or actually in the next months. So, but there's uh, this is a credits, but there are nearly 500 million euros, which are given from the European Union, uh, reserved for Greece for fighting against youth unemployment. Did you know that, or do you know that? I think that it's not happening the right way, because if it did happen the right way, there would be some. Uh, uh, some outcome, a, a positive one, but it, there is no outcome. So I think it's it's been done this, uh, the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know anything about economics. I, I don't study economics. I don't know about so politics. You, you heard but about this youth guarantee. This is uh, what I want to know first. Uh, I I, don't, I didn't know how much money it was, but I knew that uh, some money was given to us from Europe. But I think that uh, people in Greece especially students, don't feel uh, that money is coming from Europe to help. So, um, you know that uh, your government has to just to, to spend the money it's reserved? We are not sure if they are spending uh, Actually, yes. I, to ask or I right don't way. agree on that because we have to, many so, to pay so many taxes that our parents have to pay the taxes. So how does this money come to us? So I don't understand. Maybe I'll explain this, uh, uh, yes. this, this because I, I read a lot. I asked Juncker at the discussion about this topic. He made an answer around the corner. Because <laughs> there, at least there are maybe just 8 billion euros for fighting against youth unemployment. From that amount, the most money is for Spain and Italy and especially Greece. Greece is about 500 billion and it's reserved. So it's a kind of found, it's not a credit or something. And the Greek, uh, Greek government just has to put it or get it from, from this found and do some activities or programs, for example. So this is not something like, 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 like taxes or something. It's like a, a program, like for example Erasmus, but it's just for the Greek. It also youth. has been in the program like that. I participated in one of those programs last year, the summer. But okay, yes, I did it. But for example, I want to do a PhD, and I have to go abroad to do that because in order to do that in Greece, you have to do it without being paid. And for like four or five years without being paid. And I think that in the rest of Europe, people are paid PhD students. Yes, but this is this is something different. The problem with the PhD, I talked to the guy from Spain yesterday. They have the same. 
in Germany there's a good paying for PhD programs. In Spain it's 900 euros but for a PhD. It's, 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 uh, for Greece, in Spain, in Italy, it's so Yes, but it's, it's actually not the problem of fighting against youth guarantee because PhD is something for students. And the youth guarantee is also something like for people who don't go to university. For example, they can't, who can't pay it, but they don't have the, the marks or something. It's like, for example, um, there's somebody, his father has a, a company, for example. Uh, or he has an, has an own idea for a startup, for example, and he needs something for support, or he needs money, uh, something, it's, it's, it's mixed, it's like uh, uh, to support. Europe Direct, Europe Direct, is, Europe Direct is, an, is an informational office. I think that the main problem is not that um, we are not given the money or so, that we, but we are not informed properly. I mean that there is no one or um, any services or, or so that uh, will, will be available anyway to us and be easy to, to find or something. Actually, to be a Greek student in the university means um, trying to find your way in the own university and discover things and uh, many times you you have to cope with the, pro the problems that the university its own causes. I mean, we don't have uh, any help from the university as I said and uh, that's the problem that there's not an easy accessibility to all, all these services or people that have the money or the opportunities to So what, what's necessary to happen that because the money is reserved and it's, that it's, it's from the EU and um, this is what, what, what I was thinking about there's the money and you don't have the information as young people and there's maybe nobody who's giving the information, who's making programs. I've read about one one program, it's called the voucher program or something. Um, so what 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 what's you you're the Greek people so actually, actually what I've heard about voucher I'm not sure is that they did not agree with some young people because they thought it's like it's kind of a hypocrisy because so much money is cut off, so this is kind of, ah, I'm giving you something little so that you can live and then I'm fooling you that I'm helping you when I'm not. This is what I've heard, but I don't know what it is for real. Um, so you have, you have not enough information. Um, what, what's the possibility to change that? Or how could maybe your, your government change that or the young people? Well, what are you, the young people do against that? When, when, when I explain that to you, and I think it's two, two things. The government, we ha we have to fight about corruption. I mean, there are some corrupted people in the government in Greek politics. I think yes, maybe many. Anyway, so this is hard to be done, but we have to fight for it. I don't know somehow. And second, for young people, is to be more motivated and to try to do new things in a local level. For example, in Ioannina, we have some uh, organizations for, uh, for volunteers, or for example, SA or ESN, but not, not many people know about it, so they're not mobilized. Okay. We don't have motive and we don't have information. Let's hope that this video goes a little bit viral, that the people see there is nothing uh, just bad in Greece, that I hear young motivated people, uh, and give them solidarity, give them a, a future, and uh, yes. That's Thank it from you, Anina. Bye. Bye. Bye.